Alright, it's Friday afternoon, uh, the day before the Colorado opener. I'm over here, it's a second season hunt. Um, just back over here in the same unit I've hunted a, a few different times over the years. Anyway, I came in on Tuesday, I drove over here Tuesday night so that I could look around Wednesday and then yesterday and then this, today. I have not seen a taker buck yet, just some, just some nice bucks. But nothing, nothing real big. The weather is not good for hunting. It's way too warm. Um, I'm hoping for some snow, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna get it on this trip. So, I, like last year, it's gonna be tough. Um, it's been now four years since I shot a deer last, and I have hunted my butt off for the last three and a half years um, in some good places, hunting some big bucks. And I haven't been able to get it done, so I'm hoping my luck changes on this trip. It might end up being a long hunting trip. Like I said, I've already been here for two and a half days, and the hunt's night starts tomorrow, and it's nine days long. So I don't know if I'll stay the whole time, but we'll just have to see. Hopefully, I can show you right, some it's bucks. It's midday, opening day. Um, this morning I saw about nine bucks. Uh, nothing big, at least big enough to shoot. Um, not even close really. I did last night, uh, right as it was getting dark, I saw I saw a buck that looked, I mean he looked like he was probably about four inches past his ears on each side, but it was so dark I just couldn't tell details. You know, I could just see, and I, I don't think he was, was real heavy or tall either. I don't know for certain. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and watch for him tonight, see if he comes back out in the same area. Um, I'd like to get a look at him, just see if he's, you know, maybe got something cool going on or something. But that's it. It's, uh, I'm hoping that it, that it snows a little tonight, but I don't think that's going to happen. It's pretty warm right now. It's morning of day number three, Monday morning. I uh, haven't done my updates as I should with you, you know. But anyway, yesterday I saw the 4 by 5 um, showed you video of him. Same buck I, I seen last year. He's the same size. So they don't all keep getting bigger with age. And I'm pretty sure he's an older buck. I think, the, I think I've seen him three years in a row. Been the same every year. Um, then I yesterday I seen a good number of bucks. Uh, one, the only other one, I, the other one I showed you on video that was raking the trees, probably about a 26 inch four by four. But that's it. It gets, um, you know, I, I just feel like there's a taker in here somewhere, so it just gets frustrating. You know, the longer it takes. My buddy he uh, sent me a message yesterday. He killed a big buck. Uh, 33 inches wide and like six by seven it was just one of those deals where he had seen it scouting just driving through the pines and so then yesterday morning I guess he had just decided he would go down to a meadow down, you know maybe a quarter mile I'm guessing it was below where he had seen the deer drove out there there was that deer laying right along the edge of the meadow sometimes it just it's amazing how Sometimes it seems so easy to, to you know, to basically win. And then other times it is just, no matter how much you put into it, it feels like you just get your butt kicked. So, I know I'm ready to win again. Because I've had my butt kicked for, for a while. So, that's it. Hopefully uh, I turn one up. It's raining right now. I'm hoping this turns to snow. But it's fairly warm out there. And if it didn't snow yet, it probably won't turn to snow. So. Alright, it's midday, day number four of my hunt. Um, man, it's not looking very good. This morning I saw, went out to a, the one side hill I like to look at, saw, I think it was one little buck laying out there. Um, and then oh, I moved to another place, and I think I saw a few does and fawns. I did see that, that one 4x4. Four 
and he isn't that great maybe 25 inches wide just just not big enough um, and then another small buck anyway it's been tough even the does and vons I'm not seeing as many as I was early you know the first day or two it rained pretty much well a lot of yesterday and then a lot to last night and even a little bit today and but no snow um, you know they're calling for possibly possibly snow over 10,000 feet here in a couple of days but that doesn't do me any good so anyway um, just got to keep after it I guess and hope that some buck screws up because I know they're here I really I mean I know they're here they're in the pine trees and they just you know or the aspens I mean they're just in thick stuff where they can't be seen you know very well and they just aren't moving much when they get up to feed they're they're just not moving very far so you know seeing them is really tough it's getting hard well it's morning of day number six uh, so far it's been you know the first few days pretty good saw some you know a number of bucks the last couple two or three days has been really slow not a lot of action uh, except for last night uh, I did see you know several of the bucks that I've already seen plus I saw a new uh, buck that he looks pretty good I mean he's no gigantic buck but you know he looks like maybe a, a real nice 27 28 inch four point good tines good uh, good mass uh, he's definitely got me tempted I hope to see him this morning and get a better look uh, I saw him right at dark just before dark la uh, last night maybe I had he was about 600 yards away I had about 15 minutes of decent light left and he looked good but I, you know it was tough to get any real detail on you know and real maybe you know he was feeding away from me so that's always deceiving uh, and then I did see another one uh, out in some yellow grass it was already dark and I looked through my binoculars and I could see it out there and it was a big mature buck but I don't know how big anyway so hopefully I see that uh, that one today and can show him show him to you uh, there's also you know forecast and some maybe some snow in the higher country uh, t tonight so that would be real nice that could get some right this is what I wait for snow is coming down it's been coming down pretty much all day it's been pretty warm so most of it's melted off but it's supposed to snow all night um, or at least most of the night and a good chunk of tomorrow is supposed to be colder and snow so man I'm hoping it dumps about a foot the more the merrier for me because that will get them deer uh, moving get them big bucks coming through and out of that black timber so I'm excited this is what I wait for it's, uh, today is what midday Thursday so the sixth day and I've been here for nine days and yeah I get excited when this happens because I know that you know if the snow gets deep enough some deer should be moving quick update on what's going on first thing this morning I got out to my ridge and I got busted by a big buck big wide uh, four by four deep backs so I think he's pushing 30 anyway he busted me and I thought I could make the shot so I tried missed him anyway I went all the way around to where he was checked his tracks and saw where he went come back and I was able to glass him up better so I'm hustling over there now hopefully I get a chance I think I got him. Uh, shot, he dropped, um, and then I, I lost him. I could see his antlers in the brush, and then I lost him, and I can't see him now. I'm looking through my spot and scope, so he must be laying down there, hopefully. I'll go down and check it out. All right, well, I got one. It's been uh, four years now since I've killed a deer. It's been pretty tough. I've been chasing really big ones, and it's been pretty tough. Um, anyway, found this one. This one come out this morning. Uh, out on an open hill right at light and him and another buck caught me and they they turned and took you know took off and I he stopped and I thought I could get him and I missed and 
anyway, he come down in the aspens, and I found him about six hours later bedded, and come down in here, and he got up, and I set up up on the top, and and uh, he come out on the sagebrush here, and I was able to take him. So I'm pretty happy. He's a nice buck. He's not not as big as what I had thought he was this morning. Um, I think he's right around 28 and a half, 29, right in there. I thought he was a little better, uh, and I think a lot of it's because he has somewhat small body. So it kind of threw me off this morning, and then when I come down after him, I didn't even look at him that close. I I just wanted to get him. So I'm pretty happy. This is the tenth day of the trip. Um, seven days of hunting, so I'm ready to be done and go home. So there you go. Finally another buck. Well, that does it for this webcast podcast. Uh, 11th day, I'm headed out. So it's been it's been pretty fun. I mean, the first six days of the hunt, just too warm and dry. It's tough to find them. You know, this one that I shot was the biggest one I saw. I, I mean, I suppose if I'd have waited out another day, two maybe i'd have seen but i doubt it though I mean, it was slim pickings and there's snow but i don't think they're moving in you know in real i mean it's just not enough snow you know to really get them all going so anyway it was pretty good though a long time to be up here hunting though i'll tell you that i'm ready to be home